Hello, welcome to the video. So today we are going to talk about these guys, the trophies in the game. So let's start with the beach bro. And this one you have to buy. Well, you had to buy it during the summer event. You cannot get it anymore, at least until next summer. It has no real special stats except the 50% money. I mean, that's pretty good. Money have lots of uses in this game. Then we have the blunder hero. It gives you 3% skill EFK gain, which is pretty good. 3% once you have reached the upper levels is a pretty big boost. It also gives you 15 defense, but if you're skilling, you usually don't need a defense. You get this one for free in game. You know, by this here, you have to combine the easy blunder hill NPC token, do the quest from these guys, and then do the quest from these, and finally do the quest from these guys. Once you have those three, you craft it here. And once you have crafted this one, you also need these two here. Belando skills completion token and the Belando Hills misc completion token. What's that miscellaneous or something like that? Anyway, platinum bars, pretty easy to get. Hammer helmet. Need to farm some Woodlow Circle. So yeah, these are just farming quests. They are pretty easy to get. Golden peanuts are gonna cost a lot, but oh well. This one might be hard to get, the bolt cutter. It shouldn't be too hard to get it. You kill a lot of mushrooms, so... Anyway, once you have these three items, you go to the quest, then you turn it in. You can't see the text here, but I'm sure it says zero slash one on all three of them. And then you get the blunder hero. So you can do this once on every character. Back in the days when you got a token, we didn't have this here, the token reclamation system here. Instead, you had to save it in your storage, which meant it took up a bunch of spaces. And if you threw it away, well, you couldn't get it back. But now we have this, so just hold down on the token whenever you get one and put it in here. A very easy and uh, good system. Then we have the club member. You get this for free when you become a journeyman, but only beginners can use this item, which I'm pretty sure only journeyman and maestro can wear this. So once you get a maestro, which is this item here, you don't really need the club member thing anymore. But I would keep it around anyway, you never know. At least your new characters can use it. And since we already have Club Maestro up, we can talk about it. And the Club Memory only gives XP for monsters, and the Club Maestro gives skill XP instead, because the Maestro have lots of bonuses if it has a high skill level. And then we have the Crit of Baron. I would say this one is pretty rare. It takes a lot of shinies to get this one. It's the last quest in the Lord of the Hunt NPC quest line. And it only gives agility, which is pretty strange. But I guess those archer guys and those wizards need agility. Us barbarians doesn't really think much about it. And then we have the dice dynamo. Any character can get this at any point, really. You get it from this skill here, roll the dice, which you can get from uh, plenty of sources. And it pretty much goes like this. You have put the skill here, you activate it. And if you get a one, you get the title. It's that simple. So far, I only got one of these. The effect isn't anything special, so it's not like you want nine of these anyway. But it's a good filler trophy. And then we have the King of Food. Gives 10 of each base stat. Pretty good. 20% food effect. Pretty good. Because at the end game, you need food every time. And some defense. And you get this from this guy here, the picnic guy. Picnic stowaway. He has a daily, so you can do it every day. It's a pretty expensive quest line, so I haven't done it yet. But it gives pretty good reward. Especially in uh, the golden kebab, you get lots of those. And they are pretty good uh, food percentage rather than base damage. So yeah, he's here in the frog land right next to the dungeon. So it's pretty easy way to get to him is to teleport to Grand Frog Backyard and then just leave the dungeon. And then you're right by the NPC. So we have to do his daily quest 30 times. And it's pretty expensive in the peanuts department, I think. Lots of kebab sticks as well. Nugget cakes and magic meatloaves and mina cookies. Yeah, like I said, it's really expensive, but you get lots of kebabs. Then we have the lucky lad. I think everything in the game have a low chance to rock this. And guess how many I have gotten so far? Zero. And it's easy to prove. Every monster have a rare drop. And then inside that rare drop, there is a mega rare. And there it is. Still not gotten it. Oh well, I'm sure I will get it one day. And then we have Megalodon, and you get this from the fishing minigame. I think in very short terms, you have to collect two whales and then catch 
the Megalodon. You have to be really good at the fishing mini game. And to get whales in the first place, you have to get a streak, which means you can't miss. If you miss, you lose your streak. I haven't even bothered attempting this one. I haven't even seen a whale in the first place. And you have to collect two whales in one mini game. But it's pretty good. Strength and crit chance. And a bunch of defense. 9% crit chance is pretty good. My crit chance on my barbarian is only 22%. So this trophy would boost it with almost a third. I would say that's pretty good. And then we have the Trailblazer. I'm sure you've seen this around plenty of times. And you have to buy this one from the gem shop. It's not always for sale. It's kind of like the first one we looked at, the Beach Bro. It's only available sometimes, but the Beach Bro is only available in summer event. While Trailblazer is not really an event trophy, it's more of a when lava feels like it. A few people have gotten this from the Twitch streams and other competitions lava's held in the Discord and stuff like that, even on Twitter. But most people have simply bought it. You know, it's good. They support the game and they get. 20% XP for monster. So if you put this on the one you want to level up fastest, he will be pretty damn high level. And then we have the Ultra Unboxer. I have uh, plenty of videos trying to get this one. I think we're up to 19 at the moment. You get it from the guild boxes and it gives you a 3% drop chance. So it's nothing special, but it's also not bad. Drop chance is pretty good to have, especially if you're trying to farm, you know, a specific item. Maybe if I had this one, I could get a lucky lad, but we shall see. Who knows how many weeks it will take me to get an Ultra Unboxer trophy. And then we have the Yum Yum Sheriff. Yum Yum Sheriff is similar to the Blunder Hero, except it is for World 2. So to get this one, you have to do all the quests from the NPCs, get their tokens, and then you combine them in the anvil just like the Blunder Hero. And to get the recipes, you have to finish the Cowboy Jones questline. You get similar recipes like... The ones used to craft the Blunder Hero. I haven't done that yet, so I don't have the recipes, but it should be pretty much similar. Funny thing is the Blunder Hero is level 50 and the Yum Yum Sheriff is level 1. I guess it is to prevent new players from trying to, you know, trying to hunt for this Blunder Hero when they are under 50. They should focus on level up and stuff like that instead. Uh, so yeah, that's all the trophies in game. And I only have two of them. Technically three of them. Oh well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.